Welcome back, 431, 730 AM, 102.9 FM, WTNT. Andy Parks, Fred Grandy, live from the Washington Times. And on this Monday afternoon, look who's back from New York, ladies and gentlemen. The editor of Times247.com, Catherine Temp. Hello, Catherine. Hello. How was the trip? It's wonderful. How was the bus ride? It was all right. It was okay? Mm-hmm. It was okay. <laughs> Who was the last time you said I just had a yeah. wonderful bus ride? That was the best part. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you ever, did you ever take like a cross-country bus trip? No, did you ever take a no, cross country? No, I was bus always trip? wondering though what it was like. Because I, I mean, like just getting on a Greyhound or a train. Yeah, like, like going, like going down to the Greyhound and jumping on it and saying, yes, yeah, Seattle? Yeah. yeah. I've always thought yes. that if we actually do get rid of Gitmo, that might be a way to keep our detainees. <laughs> there you go. All right, well, we're glad you're back. Uh, mm-hmm. What are you getting into today? Uh, a college in Ohio has said that a men working sign outside of a construction site was sexist. <laughs> And Absolutely. they actually had to stop working on the project oh, no. until the sign was removed oh, you because be of their, kidding. quote, deep commitment to diversity. Okay, now this is interesting. I'm going to take a guess at what this college is. <laughs> Go a- for it. Antioch. No, Sinclair oh, I know. Oh, Community I know. College. Oh, Community College. Sinclair I, well, Community I just college. wanted to just, why don't they just put a sticky note with like parentheses and an, a W-O in front of it? Wouldn't that have taken care of the you problem? You know, that, yeah. that's just... Pushing it to the limit. They're making them. They made them stop working. Made them stop working. They're extending why, the construction. Okay. Why couldn't you just go to the higher ups? You know, in the construction, whether it be a contractor or whether it be within the department, say, eh, make up. You know, make up another sign. Why can't you if, just if get over that, it? If it's that important, make up another sign. But don't stop the job. Yeah. yeah <laughs> well, yeah. wait a minute. These guys are going to get paid either way. So why should they care? Well, they probably don't. Well, care. that's true too. I mean, and. Well, unless unless they're working, uh, you know, under the gun to avoid penalties, Fred, then they really don't want to stop work. Well, I don't know. Maybe the union's involved here. Maybe oh, that's true, too. a great new way too. for the SEIU to move too. their agenda and get paid. All right, so no more men working signs. How Texas. long How long will it be before we see that Well, that's why I crashed my car is because I saw a sign that said men working, and I was so upset <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and so offended and yeah. full of just rage at this. So I think I might she too. She wrecked her car right. a couple of weeks so ago. So I saw and a men working good. sign, and I was just... Fuming okay. and I crashed. Okay. How okay. does this bode for the future of signs that say men's room? <laughs> I, you know? Aren't you a little worried yeah. about that? Uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe. All right. Did you hear about, you know, uh, well, actually, there's a, there's a city in Massachusetts, Wor- Worcester. 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 Yeah. Worcester, like, uh, like the sauce. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, like the... But it, uh, Worcester, Mass. It, oh, Worcester. Worcester. What, uh, what, Worcester. Whatever. Worcester. Yeah. It's... it's Bring asking citizens to bring weapons to the police station yeah. in exchange for goods, goods for guns, buyback. So they give up their guns and they get a Wegman's gift certificate oh, yeah. and a free flu shot. Yeah, yeah. You know, hey, look, you know, Fred, you probably got lots of weaponry hanging around the house that you could unload. Actually, I, I have price. no weaponry. You don't have I any? I have lived without weapons my entire life. I'm probably down to nine yeah. or ten. Well, I don't have any either. Something if you, if like you were that. married to the person I'm married to, you wouldn't need weapons. That's <laughs> true. And that's a compliment, by the way, because I know she's listening. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. And he's not kidding. Yeah. All right. Uh, what else you have? Uh, did you hear about the shoeless bum? Remember that that guy? That, oh, oh, Reed. oh, he's just barefoot again. Uh, yeah. The what? cop gave yeah, him a pair guy, of boots. Yeah, this guy was this wonderful feel-good holiday story of this NYPD officer gave this bearless or shoeless, well, like, Homeless uh, guy. Homeless guy. Boots. Mm-hmm. And they just saw him walking around Manhattan, and he's got bare feet again. And they asked him about it, and he's like, the boots are really expensive, so I hid them somewhere. Also, you use my picture without permission, and I want a piece of the pie, is yeah. what he said. And then we find out that the real I mean, deal is he sold the shoes. Well, he most certainly sold the shoes. Yeah, he sold them for a little bit of... You know what? I admire that guy. That's entrepreneurial. Entrepreneurial. What I do mean, you mean? It is. I was Fred, cold. Fred, Fred, it is the guy, cold. The guy, I don't know if he saw him or not. He's out on the street. It's 26 degrees. Yeah. He's got no shoes, no socks on. So the cop, you know, God bless him. The yeah. cop, you know, he comes down the street and he sees this guy day after day, goes out and buys him a pair of expensive boots. And what's the guy do? He sells them. And he's back to no, you know, no shoes again. Just put a and you're okay with that? I'm okay with that. If story. the guy wants to be cold and have, you know, keep the cash, that's his prerogative. Keep the cash. That keep cash the was cash. gone. He's that not homeless because he knows how to save money, probably. Yeah, really? I mean, the guy, you know, he put it in his arm or else he uh, drank it. Okay, but that's his prerogative, isn't it? 
It's America. Yeah. That's what you just uh, described. To, to me, to me, the guy that made the mistake was the cop that went out and bought the shoes. Yeah, but that's what. That, that's what that, you how get sad is that? Yeah. yeah, that's right. You know, no good to... deed goes unpunished. That's, that's, what, that's, that's true. About. That's true. I got uh, time for one more. Uh, Chairman Michelle was bragging today about all the Christmas trees they got in the White House. Fifty-four. Fifty-four. Like, Fifty-four. That's a lot of trees. Okay. Now let me ask you something. This is supposed to be Mr. Environmentally Friendly President, yeah. right? They have 54 Christmas trees. Somebody said that's that's equal to an entire grove of Christmas trees. Mm-hmm. It's is a that, lot of trees. Is that, do we really need keep... 54 Christmas trees in the White House, Fred? Actually. How many could you get away with on a normal basis? How many do you have in your house? We never have any more than one. Really? Yeah. Oh. We don't have a lot of Christmas trees. I have trees. nine. You have nine Christmas trees, no, just teasing. like your TV. No, I'm teasing. I'm I know teasing. what you do. I, I have nine you TVs. find a picture of a Christmas tree on TV, <laughs> on TV. and then just freeze it. And <laughs> hang like a little Christmas ball yeah. on it. <laughs> How many do you have? In my house right yeah. now, we don't have any. You don't have any? But you will have one, right? Well, in my house, I, when I go back home, I'll see a Christmas tree. All right. You won't go. have one, though, yourself. Mm, no. Well, you don't even have a TV. Right. You're like poor, aren't you? I'm not poor. Uh, okay. Wow. <laughs> well, I was saying that because, you know, you know I'm, well, first the guy who goes to New York. Hey, she's got shoes, Fred. The guy who owns my uh, my house is, is pretty much a hippie. Oh, yeah. So yeah, like when you come into oh, our he's door, our age, right? When you come right. into <laughs> when you come into our our, yeah. our house, it's yeah. it's like there's a Jesus and a Buddha and like a like he's like got all of his bases covered. Like it's yeah. I'm okay with that. So, yeah. but I don't know. Christmas tree might be you know taking a stand a little okay. too much. Okay, that's all right. I mean, as long as you see one, you go home. Me and yeah. Mom, mom. Mm-hmm. And I, I was just kidding about the poor thing, because I see the car you drive. It's a very nice car. Thank Actually, you. I, you know what? I'm kind of in favor of the president having all those Christmas trees, because what he's doing is reaffirming the White House commitment to Christmas, which is now under fire these days. I mean, you're not supposed to have Christmas Care's trees. Cara's going to be upset. You're supposed to have a holiday season. Are they referring or? to them as Christmas trees? Did she say Christmas trees? Uh, yeah, I think she I did. I think she did. How okay. about that? Good for Michelle. Yeah, 54 of them. I'm down with that. Wow. That's good. All right, very good. Holiday trees. Yes. Uh, oh, that's down, right. No, no, no that's no, uh, no. Chafee out of uh, Rhode Island. Caused a big stink, remember? Yeah, that guy's an idiot. Yeah, he says. <laughs> you know that guy did him? before he, his, you know, his dad was John Chafee. He's a very well-respected senator, a guy I worked with when I was in the House. And then he, they found his son after Chafee died, and they brought him back to, um, they brought him back to Rhode Island. You know what he was doing? Oh. He was a blacksmith. A blacksmith? So I guess he was unemployed a lot, right? Yeah, I was going to yeah. say. How many, how many of those are still around? Yeah, I, I'm uh, sitting on an interstate waiting to shoe a horse. horses um, that need shoes these yeah, days. Go down to Williamsburg. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, uh, have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Mm-hmm. And glad to see you made it back from New York. There she goes, ladies and gentlemen. Catherine Temp of Times247.com. 438 on 738 AM, 102.9 FM, WTNT. It's Andy Parks and Fred Grandy, live from the Washington Times.